this is how the altar looks like for the royal wedding. The inspiration for this place is the background image that came with the dolls in the packaging. It is basically an arch facade with two staircases on both sides. There is a second story balcony on top, but it is not very visible. There is a stone wall behind and the flooring also looks like they are made of grey stones. It's not perfect, but I think this is where I'm going to stop building this structure and get the wedding started. It's going to be half green screen and half this build. They will be kind of fused together anyway, so I don't think it's too important to try to get the background walls and the floors done correctly. It's not like we are trying to make a Hollywood quality videos anyway. Something good enough to get the stories progressing is good enough. So, in this video, I made another hole on the center box so we can see through to the other side. I also put a white cardboard and a gray foam board inside to look like there are walls and floors inside. You can now see through the blue cardboard in the background. Originally, I thought this was an outdoor space, but more I look at it, it looks like it's an indoor space. It is looking out onto the sky outside. There is also a chandelier in the reference image, but I'm going to change it and make this an outdoor space. We have guests who wouldn't be able to fit inside the castle, so it has to be outside. So we're going to skip the chandelier. I then made the clay vase. I made an approximate shape of the vase using some crumpled up aluminum foil and then covered it up with air dry clay. I let them dry overnight and then painted them white. I used some leftover flowers and filled up four of these flower vases. I also stuck some flowers on the staircase rails. Looks like I bought just enough of these flowers, although maybe I could have bought a few more. And then I used the flags and flag poles on both sides of the arch. I glued together some dowels to make them longer. I glued a horizontal bar on top and then glued them onto a cardboard boxes so they can stand up. I cut up some pieces of yellow and blue fabric and then sewed them together to create the flags. The flags are triangular. One flag is basically half and half of yellow and blue fabric. The other flag is a chevron pattern flag with yellow and blue chevrons alternating. I basically made two of each. And then finally I adorned the arch with some fairy lights. Maybe I could have bought another one of these fairy lights, but I guess it's good enough. I noticed while editing that I left out the flower petals on the aisle, but I guess I will get to that just before Mal walks down the aisle and then come to think of it, maybe I don't have to. The feet rarely ever get shown on my videos anyway, and rarely ever the floors. But anyway, that will be done. If it gets done, will be done off camera. I don't want to throw it away after the wedding. I kind of want to reuse this. So maybe I'm going to convert this place into Mal and Ben's throne room sometime later in the future. Not anytime soon because we have a lot of other things that we need to build like Casita. We never got around to building the inside of Casita because I'm going to make the inside physically. The Encanto house exterior will remain in 3D virtually, which will eventually get connected to the rest of the town. I got a few ideas on how I'm going to build the next dollhouse differently after building this structure. The next one is probably going to be finish up the ships and then building Raya's places. I eventually want to get to everyone, but we have to start from somewhere. So I guess we build whatever the stories will lead us next.